So welcome to episode 12 of Random Euro Truck Simulator. Um, very shortly we're going to be using a random number generator to decide a few things. So we need to decide, uh, well, we need to use the random number generator to see where we're going to allocate this skill point to. Um, we are currently located in Innsbruck in Austria just here. You can see we've done this part of the map in yellow um, and we, we are, where are we currently located? At this rest stop here. So there are three, it looks like there are three, um, oh no four sorry with Milau. There are four um, companies in Innsbruck. So Milau is on the outskirts. So we need to um, do a random number generator to decide which of the four companies we're going to be picking up from. I'll just double check that it's for Stobart. What's that called? Mibau is the second. Nagel is the third. And that one as well. So yeah, there are four. So I'm going to head off and do the random number generator and see where we're potentially where we're going to be heading to. Right, so we've actually only just realized this. I'm currently in Innsbruck and I've just realized I'm wearing an Innsbruck um, North Face jumper that I bought when I visited Innsbruck, which I mentioned in the previous episode. I've been wearing it all day, it's just a coincidence. Anyway, let's have a look just where we're going to be heading to. Uh, we just mix, randomize that. First thing we need to do is find out where we're going to allocate the skill point to. So it's only really um, number two that's of importance to us if number two comes up because that's what adds the distance on. Let's have a look. Number three. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. We haven't allocated anything to number three yet. But that's not going to increase our distance. Our distance, maximum distance will, will remain at 750 kilometers right now we need to do the um, number generator for which company we're going to be picking up from it's between one to four it's number one um, I think that was Stobart and there were a lot of different possibilities with that one okie dokie okay so skills Number three is what came up. That's high value cargo. That's fine. The one I kind of don't really like is just in time delivery because that kind of puts a lot of pressure on me. Um, I don't really like that. Makes the journey a bit quite stressful. So high value cargo is fine. Um, now we need to go to the job market freight market, click on Innsbruck and Stobart is what we've got. Now what's interesting about this, um, it's the offer expiry time. So Leon is, is fine, it's got five and a half hours. So Leon is obviously heading west, quite a long journey um, over to Leon via Switzerland. Milan's about to expire, so I just can't see how we're going to make that. The same with Parma, so those two will be replaced. And this other place in France is going to be available. That's That must be somewhere near, near Lyon. Can't be that far from it. Yeah, Lyon's a bit further. Um, Ville-le-Dom. So... Let's just choose one of these, doesn't matter which one, as I always say, just to see the distance to Stobart. So then we'll just be able to see if we are going to miss out on Milan and Parma. I'm sure we will because it's, it's a bit of a distance to, to drive to Stobart from where I'm located. So that makes it interesting.
Okay, so the time it's going to take to get to Stobart is seven minutes. Okay, that's interesting. Only seven minutes. I thought it was going to be a bit longer than that. It's pretty close by. It's two kilometers away. So what that means is, if we just go back to have a look at the jobs, let's assume we do make it in seven minutes. Oh, no, it's already gone. <laughs> okay, it's already gone. Um, that's interesting. Oh, hang on, is that right? Oh no, sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so, the Milan job we're going to miss out on by one minute, but it will, it will change to something else even if we miss it. And the Palmer one we should still be in time for, which is a direct southern journey. So basically we're either heading to Lyon, probably Palmer will be on the list, Villa Le Dombe, and probably something that's going to replace Milan, unless I drive fast and manage to make Milan before it disappears so yeah different options who knows what we're gonna get right we are off oh it's so nice to see the daytime to see you know blue skies it's been such a long time I just seem to be constantly driving through the night Right, we've got to get to this place. Let's see where we are. Oh, hang on a minute. Um, <laughs> right, hang on. A little bit confused here. So I came in there. Okay, I got it. Oh, there's a guy mowing his lawn. I've never seen that before. That's nice. Nice bit of detail. I can't believe that. I can't believe they've got someone mowing their lawn on Euro Truck Simulator. Right. Well, this is a nice little area, isn't it? Couldn't see it in the dark. I wouldn't mind living here. Oh, just coming. Oh, oh, lovely. Yeah, so we're not going to make the one to Milan. And it's touch and go whether we're going to make the one to Parma, I would say. A lovely sort of backdrop here, isn't it? This is very much how I remember Innsbruck. The lovely mountains in the background. I mean, I'm not that bothered about Milan and uh, Parma. But it depends what they re were replaced with. So that's like we've got a decent chance of going to France, going back to France. Different part of France though. Ready to turn left. Here we are, Eddie Stobart. You have arrived at your destination. Right, what's on the menu? Oh, it looks like we've it's actually less they've been reduced, it looks like. Okay, so we didn't make it in time for I can't actually remember what we had there. <laughs> we definitely had Leon. Leon was on there. And that Villa Le Dombre on there. So Hellborn has now replaced one of those Italian jobs. Um, 
okay and also we have Gratz is on there as well is that on there before I can't remember um, okay let's see where we end up if I had to choose one I'd probably choose Gratz I reckon Yeah, but not too, not too fast. That's a bit of a boring one. There isn't a particular. Oh, Leon's the third, quite a far one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's see what we get out of these four. Okay. So let's do this. We just mess, mess randomize it first, and now we do one to four. Let's see if I can remember what the four options are. Number one is Graz in Austria. Number two is Hel Helborn in Germany. Um, three is Lyon in France and four, four is some small place in France. Let's see what we get. Three, I believe that's Lyon. Okay, so we're going over to <clears throat> Switzerland um, and then on to France from there. So it's going to be a new country for us, which is good. Right, so we need to choose Leon. So it's actually our longest journey so far on the game. Slightly longer than uh, Brussels to Munich. Time to hit the road. So it's going to require a rest stop. I'm going to try to <laughs> pre-plan it this time um, after what happened on that trip from Brussels to Munich. Not any more stressful um, moments. Right, what is this one? Okay. Can't get over how nice this uh, sort of backdrop is. Right, Tramiri. Nice. Right, let's have a look at the map because it's quite a long journey. I may be able to change it possibly if I feel as though I need to. So we head straight out of Innsbruck to the west, cross over the border into uh, Switzerland. Um, go near Zurich and uh, what's that place? Basel then Mulhaus in France um, interesting is there a different way we could go? that's 710 kilometers it looks a little bit long winded but if we go on like a smaller road um, if we go via Geneva maybe yeah that's shorter that makes a lot more sense, isn't it? 693 kilometers. So this isn't going to be our longest journey then, distance-wise. 10 hours, 23 minutes. So it's slightly longer, but slightly shorter as well. But long, slightly longer in time, but shorter in distance. So I think we're going to go this way. That means going, staying longer in Switzerland, which is a good thing. I'd rather stay in Switzerland longer than be in France, to be honest. Um, if we actually go by Villa de la Dombra, which is one of the places we could have gone to. Um, and there we go, Lyon. So yeah, that's the way we're going to go. Um, so let's, let's do it. Okay, we're going to be taking some eggs over to Lyon. Now I haven't actually checked the map yet. Um, well, hang on, before I do that actually, sorry. I need to just check the rest stop situation. So I need to have a rest in 10 hours, 35 minutes, 
or we could do it without a rest, but it's going to be too risky. We've got 25 hours remaining, so there's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't have a rest stop. There's no rush for this one, so I'm definitely going to have a rest. Um, let's have a look where the rest stops are um, on the route. Um, there's what well, that's a petrol station. Does it have a rest stop with it as well? Um, it does. I might stop there. There's another one on the border. Um, I want to be driving in the light as much as possible. So I'm thinking um, maybe I will stop here for a rest. How do I do this? Okay, I don't think I need to actually put it down now. I think it's going to be pretty obvious. I just think once I get to the border with... I think that's my last opportunity. Oh no, there's another place there just before Leon, but it's almost pointless. Um, so yeah, I'm going to aim for the Swiss-French border to have a rest. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Um, okay, let's get going. Ready to roll. Ready to roll. Okay, so like always, I'm going to talk about our final destination, which is Lyon and my real life experience there. Um, I don't think I've been to Lyon. I definitely would have like been near it, like driving past it on the on, like the motorways there. We were like driving through France onto, I don't know, Italy or Spain. But I don't ever remember going to the city of Lyon. So this should be another nice um, scenic journey, hopefully, because we are going to be going through Switzerland. We're not going to be going on like the real um, scenic roads in Switzerland. I think they're more to the south of the country. They head towards Italy, but we should still see some nice scenery, I think. I mean, pretty much all of Switzerland is nice. So yeah, we're going to be traveling in three countries. So obviously Austria, where we're in now, Switzerland and France. So the bulk of the journey is going to be in Switzerland, which we are transiting. And it's going to be the first, our first time um, visiting Switzerland in this series. So it's a new country for us. So let me try to work out how many countries that is. We've done England, France, um, England, France, Belgium, Germany, Austria, and now Switzerland. So that will be six countries. So yeah, we've got signposts to Bregenz. So that's the, the area of Austria we're heading to now, which is the, the western part, the far western part, northwestern part, um, is where I went to on holiday a few years ago. Really nice around there. Um, it doesn't actually feature on the game though, in terms of cities. There are no Austrian cities. Um, no, no, in this game. No, sorry, no Western Australian. Australian? What am I talking about? No Western Austrian cities in the game. For the I can't remember the name of the the region, state. Um, but Bregenz is the capital of that particular Western region of Austria. And I was staying in a town near Bregenz called Dornburn. So Dornburn is the biggest city, by which it's still very, very small in, the, in that region. Um, 
but Bregenz is the capital. Bregenz, really nice place. It's on the Lake Con Lake Constance, I think it's called. Uh, very near the border with Germany. Lovely place. Vorarlberg, that's the that's the name of the the Austrian region which we're going to be driving in. Like I say, there are no cities on Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, from Vorarlberg. I actually, when I was in Austria, in Vorarlberg, I actually walked over the border into Switzerland, um, which is interesting. Um, so I actually left the European Union on foot. I was in a I was in a football match um, in a in a place I can't remember the name of the place. It's near near Bregenz and near um, Dornburn to the west, right on the border with Switzerland. It was a top division Austrian football match. And after the match, I just walked along the the river, like the embankment, across the bridge, went back the other way along the river, and I crossed over into um, Switzerland, and then walked to the city or well, town of oh dear, I've forgotten the name of the place I walked to. <laughs> um, is it Saint something? It's not Saint Gallen. I can't remember. I walked into the town centre, it was a Sunday, so it was pretty dead. Um, when I got a train, yeah, I got the train, I think, back to one stop, back to Austria. But I think without looking at a map, I, I can't remember the name of the town in Austria or the town in uh, Switzerland. So I'll be interested to see the sign, the signposts here for like the, the towns, which are obviously not on the game. So I, I might recognise quite a few of them. So as I said, I was in this region, travelled around the area a bit. So we must be also very near Liechtenstein. What was that turn off for? Saint Anton. Ah, oh, Saint Anton. Yeah, that's a famous skiing place, I think. So Bregenz is still straight on. Oh, we have a toll road. Right, let's not mess this up. Where am I going? Straight on? Yeah, St. Anton um, Alberg, I remember that place. That's between Innsbruck and Dornburn. I don't think it's in Vorarlberg though. Just the right way? Yeah. There's a statue there. So it's nice to be able to like talk about an area that I know, well, kind of know, not very well, but only been here once in real life. Oh, there's a nice place called Feldkirch as well, which is on the border with Liechtenstein. So we might see a signpost for that. Oh, Vorarlberg, there we go. We're actually in Vorarlberg. Okay, nice. 
Okay. Familiar territory. My part of Austria. I'm liking this journey. Right, okay, we're looking out for signposts. Familiar, familiar locations. So if you watch my previous episodes, I, I mentioned I traveled by train from um, Dornburn to Innsbruck. So we would have basically got along this area. The train, must be, the train track must be nearby. I think it took about three hours or three and a half hours to get from Bregenz, no, not Bregenz, to get from Dornburn to uh, Innsbruck, something like that. It's such a breathtaking journey. My, my, my eyes were just glued to, you know, to the window. Oh, here's a signpost. What have we got? Bregenz. Oh, nothing interesting. Well, maybe here. What have we got? Uh, just Bregenz, Deutschland. Oh, turning off. Yeah, we don't want Deutschland. Not today. It's a shame Bregenz isn't in the game because that would be a really nice little location. We could have the, um, the lake, Lake Constance. a nice um, cable car as well. Is it, I don't know, is it, is it a funicular or a cable car um, in Bregenz as well. Keep Any local places on here? So I wonder if we get to see the river um, that separates Austria from Switzerland, because that was the river that, that the Brit I, that I was walking along. Ready to turn left. Oh, where are we? We're entering. Oh, we are in. Oh, okay, Bregenz is on the game, kind of. Kind of. It looks like, I mean, Bregenz is to the right. We can't go right. Oh, this is Bregenz. Okay. But I don't, it's not actually on the game as a place, if you see what I mean. To visit, like to do a drop off. Zurich and St. Gallen. Well, at least Bregenz is, exists on the game to some extent, which is nice. To see a bit of Bregenz. There's a river, I think. What, the border with Switzerland, right? There is some kind of like customs because it's not part of the EU. 
So let's see what the border is like here. I'm just going to let me go straight through into... Okay, there is, a, there is the river. Okay, good. So it is like in real life. I'm happy about that. Nice. No kind of border area. I don't think it was like a proper kind of border. It was like... But there was definitely some kind of like um, island area there. I mean island. When I say island, I mean like some kind of infrastructure for customs. Yes. I'm glad it's realistic that you actually yeah, now you have to cross the river to get into Switzerland. That's pretty cool. It's a nice route this, it really is. Been to Zurich. That was on the same trip. Zurich's a, a lovely city. Speed limit is still eighty. So this is the second time we have done a journey on this series that takes in three countries following on from our route from London to Brussels, which obviously was England, France very briefly, and uh, Belgium. And that's the most we've ever, that's the most countries we've ever visited um, in in one episode. But I'm sure there's going to be plenty of, oh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of opportunities ahead where we're going to be driving through so many countries in one in one journey. Especially as um, the distance becomes greater, at the moment we're stuck on 750 kilometers maximum per journey. The random number generator will decide uh, where our fortunes lay with that, lie with that. There's a train there. Freight train. So this is the Swiss-German speaking part of Switzerland. But as we progress through the country, we will be in the um, French speaking part. So we're heading back to France. It's been a while since we've been there. The last time we were there was when we transited the country, as I just mentioned, from London to Brussels. 
This is a completely different part of France. Zurich is straight on, but that's not what we want. We don't want Zurich. Oh, it's not going to get. There we go. There's a fork in the road coming up. We want to be in the left lane. We don't want Strasbourg, Basel. Keep left and then continue straight. Ah. Go straight on. There's another um, decision to be made. Turn off coming up. Again, it looks like we need the left lane. Yeah, we don't want Milan, Milan, Milano, Milano, Lugano. Lugano is the uh, Italian-speaking part. Italian-speaking city in southern Switzerland. Oh, watch it. And another fork in the road coming up. Okay. Can we get back in the left hand lane? Sorry, right hand lane. Again, we need to be in the left though. For a second. Oh, no, I think this is okay. This will do. I've got a feeling that's might, that might have been the turn off we should have like was supposed to take if we'd gone the, the quicker way, longer distance, but faster uh, journey time. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was that way. Or maybe the previous turn off even. Looks like. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not going that way. We're going this way. Oh, we've been undertaken. Now we are turning off. Like even though this is just like motorway driving, it's still, there's still something about it that's a lot more pleasant than say driving in Germany on the motorway. I don't know what it is, it's just, oh, just Germany gets on my nerves driving, just driving there on this game. This has more too, I don't know. I think we're just being biased. What city is that? there. So 
So how far are we from the French border, which is where we're going to have a rest stop? Let's have a look. Um, don't know, but the city that we've just gone past is Bern, that we saw on the left-hand side. Running out of fuel. Jeez, I forgot about that. I honestly forgot about fuel. <laughs> I've been thinking all this time about... Um, rest stops. I completely forgot about fuel. Oh dear. What happens if you run out of fuel on the game? Honestly don't know. It's never happened to me before. Well, I'll have to stop at the next petrol station, whenever that is. I really don't know. It's a bit worrying. It's so weird, I wasn't looking at the fuel gauge at all. Is this the right way? Yeah. So stupid, so irresponsible. Great. Is there a petrol station coming up? Leon is now on the, the board, on the signpost, which is good. I need <laughs> petrol. Ah, there we go, there's a petrol station. That's all right. We're lucky. I might as well sleep there then as well, to be honest. It's getting dark anyway. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to pull in here. Get some petrol. Get a good night's kip. And finish the journey in the morning. The game type. Game morning, if you know what I mean. Don't miss the turn off. Right, petrol first. First time getting petrol in this series. Here we are. What petrol station is this? Don't know, can't see. Pit, what does it say? Pit. Pit just says petrol in there. Okay. Oh, right, that's nice and easy. Let's get some sleep. Okay, well it is dark, but it is getting light which is a good sign. So it's not pitch black, at least. We've basically avoided driving in the dark on this journey, which is really, really good. Ooh, it's a bit risky. A bit naughty, maybe, of me. Nice, nice views.
can't beat Switzerland. Find me a place in the world nicer than Switzerland. What's that ahead of us? It's like a lighthouse. <laughs> it's just like a, a factory. Hello. Is it an airport? Oh, it's crashed. Don't know. Can't see. Train track on the left, oh wait. Yeah. Can you see any moving trains? These Swiss trains. Leon straight on. That's us. Right, we're coming up to Geneva. So everything's in French now, because we're in the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Oh, what's this? It's got flags up there. Interesting. So we must be getting very close to the border of France now. That's interesting. It said uh, Leon straight on. Yeah, I'm off to the right. Weird. No, we're definitely going to go this way. I'll have a look after the, I've filmed if there was a different way we could have gone by going straight on just out of interest. Oh, jeez, I nearly crashed. Too fast. Got a nice little road now to drive along. So this was where I was going to have my rest stop. I think it's on the left-hand side. Oh, so this does have a kind of customs facility at this border. Right, we're back in France. Been a while, but we're back here again. Okay, so the place I was going to stop, I think, was there on the left, maybe. I think that was it.
nice quiet country French roads, I like it. Leon. Which is nice. It's been a nice route. You know, nothing spectacular, but pleasant enough. Why is a tunnel only 50 kilometers? What's going on here? I've got to turn left. What the hell? Okay. So Leon was telling me to go straight on. Interesting. the road to Leon apparently, which we're not taking. down there. There's like a um, secret road, what you call it? It looked like. I remember that. I try to remember that secret road. <laughs> Maybe for the return journey. I might even make a note of it. Cute little French town. So I wonder like who made this place, like is this Pro Mods, is it, uh, is 
the add-on, the French add-on, which is quite old now. Is it an update from SCS? I don't know. I'm sure this wouldn't have been part of the original game. there. I like the fact that with this route, despite it being through Western Europe, which always has very developed roads, it hasn't all been on motorway type roads, which is always nice. I think once you're outside of you know, the very developed Western countries, that is when you, um, you know, tend to see roads more like this or other kind of like single lane roads. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Exit now. Okay, we're going on to a toll road now, to, onto a motorway, it seems. single collision with a car since I've started this series. That is incredible. But it very almost nearly happened there. It will happen at some point. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. Lane okay. Does it have a green thingy magic? I don't want to have any problems. The, the right one definitely does. I just need to wait and see. Yeah, it does. I can see. Merci. Au revoir. Right. Geneva and Marseille. Don't want that. Keep 
Leon Central Central sorry is for us Centerville or maybe not Centerville but heading towards the Centerville for the time being That's weird, the speed limit's gone up to 90. Oh, in France, of course. The speed limit's 90 in France on the motorway. Silly me. Right, here we are. In Lyon. Is that a Mackie Dees? Turn left. Turn left. Here we are, car four. Well, there's a, a place to sleep as well it's next door, old. which is good. Into. Just like it is. Oh no, it's the other way around, okay. Hmm. Let's just make it easy for ourselves. I'll have to reverse back into it, but it should be pretty straightforward. If I don't do this in one go, I'll be very disappointed. Okay. Let's go and park and we'll go and have a sleep. So we'll go to the place next door. Oh no, hang on, that's not the right way. Come on. Oh, watch it. Don't hit that. Oh, jeez Louise. I should be stopped and breathalyzed.
played the last time here, I might do a quick um, mechanical check repairs. Just, yeah, repair all. Cheap enough. Right. Where's the parking place? Just here. Okay, that's the end of the episode, guys. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.